I wish to promote you, Mr. Presley. Walk through a party in a town in jail. Are you ready to fly? I'm ready. Hey, folks, so what's new in theaters? Well, Elvis just hit screens. A biopic about the king of rock and roll, of course. There's sure to be a lot visually. Coming from Moulin Rouge director Boz Lerman. Young Austin Butler plays Elvis. While Tom Hanks, under lots of prosthetics, is his manager, Colonel Tom Parker. The reviews? Pretty good. Uh, ditto the new horror movie, The Black Phone. I'll scream. I'll scratch your face. This face? From the makers of Sinister, based on the book by Joe Hill, son of Stephen King, it's about a kid who may get some ghostly help when he's kidnapped and held in the basement by a sicko creep, played by Ethan Hawke. How does it feel to have shot the worst round in the history of the Open? It was the first round I've ever played. And to select area theaters comes The Phantom of the Open, the true story of a golf novice who kind of stumbles into the British Open. It stars Oscar winner Mark Rylance. It's this house. I don't feel like I'm alone here. Then at home, new movies on demand include Abandoned, with a postpartum Emma Roberts and a Haunted House with Michael Shannon. Also, Gatlop, about a supernatural board game. And Murder at Yellowstone City, a western with Gabriel Byrne, Thomas Jane, and Richard Dreyfuss. I'm from the future. Like, ho hoverboard future? It's also Press Play, a time travel romance with Top Gun Maverick's Lewis Pullman, son of Bill. And Flux Gourmet, a satire about sonic cooking with Aza Butterfield and Gwendolyn Christie. Then straight from theaters, Watcher, starring a stalked Micah Monroe. Surgery is the new sex. On premium VOD, Crimes of the Future, director David Cronenberg's new body horror freakout with Kristen Stewart and Viggo Mortensen. What do you know about the multiverse? And yet Marvel's new Doctor Strange sequel already new to own, straight from theaters. And also now streaming on Disney+. Plus. On one person in the family scores, the whole family scores. <laughs> then also new on Disney+, Plus, the sports movie Rise, about NBA star Giannis Antetokounmpo and his brothers. Also, Trevor the Musical, a performance of that stage show about a gay teenager. I am the man from Toronto. I'm the man from Toronto. Oh! Then Kevin Hart gets all mixed up with assassin Woody Harrelson in his new movie, The Man from Toronto, new on Netflix. They also have a new season of Umbrella Academy, the sequel Sing 2, Money Heist Korea, a new take on that crime show, the reality show Snowflake Mountain, spoiled folks roughing it in the wild, and also Man vs. B. Legendary British bumbler Rowan Atkinson at Slapstick War, with a pesky beat. None of us were really prepared for what it was really going to be like. Meanwhile, HBO has a new documentary about Menudo, the Latin boy band. And starting Sunday, a new season of Westworld. I am so excited to save the world together. While Maya Rudolph becomes a billionaire in her new comedy Loot on Apple TV+. Plus, That new Downton Abbey movie, already streaming on Peacock now. And finally, look who's back. <laughs> the Earth sucks. Yep, Beavis and Butthead do the universe. Their brand new movie is only on Paramount+. Plus. See you next time from the director's chair.